Shannon, on a scale of one to ten, how concerned are you about Braun's ankle? Well, I'm a ten because I'm concerned. I'm, I'm con not 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 the severity of it, Skip. I'm concerned that it's going to linger because the last time, Skip, we, we you and I, we've gone to the doctor. How many times had the doctor said, "Hey, Skip, if you want this thing to heal up, keep doing what you're doing." They normally tell you to rest and stay off of it. Don't do it. <laughs> So normally, what else are they going to say? <laughs> so normally the doctor would tell LeBron, you need to rest this foot for a, a, a period of time. But when you play professional sports, Skip, you don't get rest no. because you only have a short period of time in which the season is going on. So LeBron is going to have to play. He's going to have to deal with the playing pain. And like he said, uh, uh, Chris Haynes saying is like sometimes it flares up. That's a big man that's planting and cutting. That's not Kyrie Irving that's, Kyrie Irving that's gliding, Skip. That's effortless, like moving. That's 250, 260 pounds. That's a lot of force pushing off. And so, yeah, it's going to flare up. And, I, Skip, I was the first one. Remember, I came in here after he broke the record. I said, Skip, something's going on with his foot. Because as soon as he came off the game, he bent down, he took his shoe off, and he was rolling that foot. So it's like his arch or the side, uh, his midfoot or something. Yeah. Because the only people, person I know take their shoes off every time they came out was Dennis Rodman. And we know Dennis Rodman will leave you know, a looney tune sometimes. Loony tunes. I would <laughs> so buy that. So he taking his shoes off. I'm not thinking anything if Dennis Rodman take his shoes off. But LeBron James taking his shoes off, it called. I was like, well, damn, what's going on? And it's only one. It wasn't both. It was one. And so, Skip, I think the thing is what's concerning is that it's going to linger. I think it's something how much pain can he tolerate? Um, does it interfere with something that he had? Does it interfere? How much does it interfere? with what he wants to do and what he can do. So it's not going to go away. It's not something like, you know what, hey, LeBron, just keep playing on it, and then the doctors tell him it's going to go away. That's not going to happen. It's probably going to flare up from time to time. How well can he manage it? How, how his pain tolerance, because I think for any athlete, Skip, you have to have a very, a, a very, uh, some level of pain tolerance. Yep. Now, it's varying degrees. You know some guys can play through a lot of stuff, and some guys ain't playing through jack. They got a, they got a belly ache or a, <laughs> anything. They're not playing. So I'm concerned that it's going to linger, but I'm not concerned that it's going to cause him to miss a, a significant period of time. Like I said, I believe he'll be back playing tomorrow. It's going to be managing how much treatment can they give him in between. Um, obviously, back to back's probably going to be out. I would think they would be, but uh, I'm not worried about it like long term. But I'm just think I know it's going to linger. So you're high on the scale of 10. Yes. You're eight or nine. That is, that is going to, yeah. Yeah, it's going it's to be cumbersome. Because, Skip, it's a basketball player. It's kind of hard to play without feet. I mean, if I got a bum shoulder, Skip, you for my left shoulder, I shoot right, okay, yeah, it's going to cause some discomfort. But I, it's kind of hard to do anything if you're a professional athlete without feet, even swim, because you got a flutter kick, you got a dog kick, or whatever stroke you use. So feet are very important to an athlete. Okay. <sighs> Who knows? Because I don't know. You don't really know. No, but, no, but I'm no. with you. I, I'm at a nine on the alert level here because something is going on. What threw me the biggest curve is that night, it was a week ago. Tuesday. Tonight. Yeah. Right? Uh -huh. We go tonight yeah. against the Oklahoma City Thunder yeah. at the Crypt. He scored 36 points inside of three quarters. Yes. Right? Yes. Phenomenal. Yes. He passed Kareem yes. right before your very eyes. Yes. You were there. Yep. And not once did I see him favor the foot at all. Mm -hmm. Was it a Herculean performance? Was it an Iron Man performance? It well might have been. Right. All I know is there was no wincing. There was no limping. There was no gimping around. It just looked like he was about as great as he's ever been. Now again, is the or is the adrenaline just pouring through his of veins? Of course, you better believe it. This is his night of nights. Th this arguably, in his eyes, was the greatest night of his career. He's about to become the all-time leading scorer in this league. Right. So, are you playing through something that is nagging you? Probably. Are are, are you not showing any flinch of pain because? Th this is so special to you right. that you never really dreamed that you could be on the doorstep of passing Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, right. one of the greatest Lakers, if not a lot of people think he is the greatest yes, Laker. Yes, yes, You're, you're going to pass him, mm -hmm. a Laker great, at, at, at the home of the Lakers mm -hmm. to become the all-time leading scorer. It's surreal. He kept saying after the game, it's surreal. It, it got is. so At the end of his speech on the court, he finally just F-bombed because he couldn't think of what else to say. Right. Okay. Because, you remember, uh, like, 
all these other occasions, you know, they did a little put something, LeBron James, 10,000 assists. LeBron James just passed Kobe Bryant. LeBron James just passed Michael Jordan. But Skip, they paused the game for six, seven minutes. And they his should fa have. His family comes well, on the court. Have. So okay. this is, a, this is a, a different. Okay. And you know going into it, Skip, I mean, yeah, I got to pass. But that's not the, yeah, I'm passing Jordan. That's a huge honor. I looked up to Jordan. Ooh, I passed Kobe. I looked up to Kobe. But Skip, you, th that was, that's not Everest. That's my, that might be Pike's Peak. That might be Mount Kilimanjaro. It was. That might be the Adirondacks. No, I know. But that's not Everest. No. Kareem was Everest. This, this was he Everest. scaled Everest. Okay, he did. Okay, I give you that. But to my eyes, he looks, he looks a thousand percent healthy yeah. as he's scoring 36 inside. Would he end up with 38 for 38, the game? 38. He tried to go back and play in the fourth quarter, and he was shot emotionally. Yeah. He might have been just completely out of gas because he had spent so much effort yeah. and energy to get to 36. So w I loved what Anthony Davis, we talked about it when we were in Phoenix, but I loved what his explanation of why did he not leap up and celebrate? Well, he got pulled out of the game because he was in foul trouble. Right. He wasn't actually in the game where he could hug him on the fly as he made the fall away shot. Right. But he's saying, I, I couldn't get into it because... We're getting our butts kicked. We're losing but Oklahoma to the Oklahoma City Thunder. Yeah. We're losing to the Oklahoma right. City Thunder. Well, they're ahead of you in the standings. Skip, also something should have gave you pause. In all your years of watching LeBron James, how many times have you ever seen him not start the fourth quarter on the court? I've never seen it. And I've seen hey, just but, about every dribble. I know, but if you're ever going to give him a pass for that or, 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 or anticipate that he wouldn't, he, he, all of the energy had been drained out of him, especially in the presentation. Right. Now you got to get up for the presentation. But but right? then, but that was the thing, Skip, because that was like 11 seconds to go. So you had six, you had six, seven minutes plus the uh, plus the, okay. uh, uh, the the third, the ending of the third quarter. So you get like seven, eight, nine minutes to rest. LeBron James did not start the fourth quarter all on right. the court. Okay. So he takes himself out fairly. Fairly early because they they actually roared back in the game yes, because yes. of Westbrook going mm -hmm. crazy. We're yeah. going to talk about him in just a couple of minutes here, but LeBron pulls himself out because he says I I'm useless. I, I got nothing left. Right. And to your point, he goes straight over and takes his right shoe off. I believe it mm -hmm. was. Yes, it's right. Okay, so yeah. it's his right shoe, mm -hmm. and he starts to roll it yep. on a roller. And I highly recommend this a little trick of the trade. Every night, I roll both feet on a tennis ball right. because it, it's a miracle cure if you'll just roll and roll. Do you got high arches anyway. No, You're not flat-footed. But, but it'll, it'll <laughs> help your hamstrings. It, it somehow breaks up all, all the, that, that the, the, the problems yeah. in, your, in your legs. Just roll. Roll mm -hmm. on a tennis ball while you're sitting watching right. a game, whatever you're doing. Roll for 10 minutes over here right. and then roll and just get all the kinks out because yeah. it'll help up your legs. So that's what he was doing. Right. Well, then they're talking about his ankle. I don't think it's his ankle. It's I think foot. it's some strained arch or yep, something. Yep, that's it, what I is, yep. First, I thought is that plantar fasciitis, but that's across the bottom. Right. I don't. I don't think it's across the bottom because you can't roll on that one because right. it'll just hurt yes. if you touch it. Yeah. Okay. So something is awry here. Yes. Or the other, it, the, the the possibility is he's just so drained from everything that happened, mm -hmm. he just decided I need a break from basketball because I have focused. All, every ounce of my being on passing Kareem, and I need the all-star break. Right. I need to get through the break, although Jen's saying that he might play tomorrow right. night. Right, right. That's we'll what Ham, D. Ham was saying, okay. that he had vision and play. Okay, well, we'll see if he does. I thought maybe he would play last night. Right. And so I questioned, okay, you go to the Super Bowl, your, your team is, is just clinging to, to it's the faint hope that you're going to rise up into the play-in. Right. And obviously you go to Portland and they shoot the lights out, especially in the first half. It, was, it wasn't even a they fair fight. They made ten threes in the, in the first okay. quarter. Okay. Okay. You, can't you, you, you can't do it. And <laughs> if Dame's going to make eight threes. And then Dame's going to shoot. Okay, you're going to lose. Shoot a 48-footer okay. 30, 30 and swish it. Okay, you, you can't beat that. I, I give you that. But all of a sudden, I'm looking at you and you have 24 games to go. You're stuck. You're mired in 13th place in the West. You are now two full games behind said Oklahoma City mm -hmm. Thunder. LeBron, do you have it left in you? Can you help? Because it's him or bust, because they can't do it with just AD. No. They're not good enough. No. So, D. Ham said after the game, Darvin Ham, he says, 
I see the glass is half full. We picked up some phenomenal players. I don't know if I'll go phenomenal, but I they're like very good. Beasley. Okay, I do too. He and he, by the way, he made five threes in the fourth quarter last yeah. night. So he Six got a twelve. Yep. He said we got younger a little bit. We got some really high IQ guys. So once we get everybody out there, get LJ back out there, as in LeBron James with everybody, we're super duper excited what the future holds for us in the short term and the long term, okay? Bingo, I, I'll buy all of the above. But the key is, we yeah, gotta get there. LJ back out there <laughs> because without LJ, there. I don't see it. No, Maybe no, 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 hell no, nah, no. Nah, okay? Nah. Hell, all they're right. struggling with him and he averaging 38 and a half and seven. All right, so the, the question becomes, how big, how, how much would it hurt LeBron, just hurt him personally, if his team missed the playoff for a second straight year, how much would it hurt his competitive pride to be watching the playoffs? Oh, for it's the gonna hurt a lot. Year? It it's would gonna hurt a lot. lot. Especially with Skip, I, I think the thing is when you play well, what hurts Skip if you lose if I lost the game and I didn't play well, well, I it's self-explanatory. Yeah. Hell, I didn't play well. It hurt more when you play your ass off and you lose the game. Yep. He's averaging 30, eight and a half rebounds, seven assists, and they're still where they are. What you say, 13? Yep. So obviously that's gonna bother you. He's like, well, damn, if LeBron was averaging 17, everybody could, well, the reason why, because he's not playing well. Yep. So what's the excuse now? You got one guy averaging, AD is averaging 26, 12, and three blocks a game. LeBron James is averaging 30 points, eight, eight and a half rebounds, seven assists a game. Yep. And you still in the position that you're in. So it would absolutely bother him to not to miss the playoffs for a second consecutive season. Okay. That foot better miraculously heal by tomorrow night because we think of the all-star break as kind of middle of the year. It's not middle of the year. Not anymore. We're, we're deep into <laughs> the year, yeah, right? Yeah. We're, we're 82 game schedule with only 24 to go. Yeah. But I'm not surprised that his yep. foot is hurt. I mean, after 20 years of putting foots in people, yeah. yeah. At some point, times get your foot get hurt. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Maybe mm -hmm. maybe he heard it kicking locker room walls after he lost his six finals. There you go, know. right there. Maybe it's like one of those chronic recurring injuries. It'll be chronic, but it's okay. Now, would you have that same energy? Yeah, I would. After them 24 games, when we go like 19 and 5. I think you need to go 19. Yeah, uh, we're going to do that. Play, it don't matter. We, we, they don't want to see us nowhere near the play in, yeah, play I, off. I, I buy that if he's if he's right. He gonna he's going to be right. He's got to be right. He's going to be right. Well, gentlemen, supposedly the Lakers medical staff has done imaging on that foot, and the images are clean. So we will see. Certainly, the All Star break will be. They said they saw a lion image in that foot. Really? <laughs> that what they said? They said a lion. They saw a lion. Did you hear that, Jen? Huh? That what? That what I heard? I don't know. I heard it was a panther. <laughs> <laughs> you hate it. All right. Thanks for watching, undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.